Nation here with Texas A&M receiver Elias Smith. Talk about your time at Texas A&M. Man, I'm just keeping out of it. That's the opportunity they had given me. Coach Jimbo definitely gave me an opportunity to come out and showcase my skills and also learn a lot of great uh, people in the university itself. You know, you were the guy. And then, like, a lot of people forget about you because Evan still showed up and you had the injury. Like, we were talking about on the podcast and we have, you still did, you did the special team, you did, it didn't matter where you line up, you still got it done. And like, it's, you know, like, we've seen all that. That big play was, it was adamant. Talking about this year, what you worked on in the offseason to defend your craft? Definitely. So, really, um, with the injury, I had to learn how to run the game. Uh, definitely learn how to use my plan a lot better for me to go game. I guess you could say use my speed to get open. Also, continue to work on my uh, feet. Continue to work on my hands. Always stay on the judge and whatnot. And really just working on my technique in general. Learn how to get out of cuts and breaks again. Uh, learn how to be physical. How they came to block me. Also, really just uh, try to implicate that in my offseason training. Really just get started. I noticed that this year you had no problem when you get that block, I get that running back sprung, so I loved it. Um, what's some, something that people you know don't know about you that has nothing to do with football? Um, man, one thing is, man, so I had got my uh, bachelor's degree in the University of Studies of Business, okay. which actually uh, helped me get a minor in entrepreneurship and sports management. So I'm definitely business minded, definitely want to own a few businesses, and also I love to go fishing. Okay, all right. So if this don't work out, you already set yourself up for the next, the next step. I have a backup plan, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, um, I'm trying to stay sports oriented when it comes to after football. I definitely want to get back to the community and get kids from out of the back to where I'm from and really just understand it. But trying to help the guys understand that they have an option to be able to do something different than the season. Give them another option. What was it like? Playing with Everson. Man, dude, a great player, uh, great person to talk to, fun, always. But at the same time, man, he was crazy talented for sure. Just being able to have him on the field, having another X Factor on the field, was definitely helpful for me, but also to, to the team. What was it like working with Pop this year for the injury? Man, it was awesome. His, his leadership, the way he had stepped up to really understand his role in the team. And on top of that, man, like, his arm time was great. Like, being able to create plays when plays looked like they wasn't there, being able to throw a receiver open when they looked like they was covered. And really just him as a person, he's definitely a great person to be around. And just everything about him, right? NFL GM gives you calls. Does they think about taking it? What do you tell them how to play that game? Man, they're going to be somebody that's dedicated, somebody that's proud of him. And definitely, that's the number one thing. And on top of that, somebody that's a natural for sure. And on top of that, man, really just understanding the game, somebody that's smart, that's going to be dedicated, and when somebody else gets tired, I'm not going to stop. For sure. And that's funny. I love it. You, you hear it all real. It's seen bowl. It's a great experience. One of the best like, bowl games after bowl season. What was it like having a family in St. Bowl? Man, it was awesome, man. They've been supporting me my whole life, all the way since I was five, six years old. Always been around, came to all my football games, and just being able to see them at this moment here is amazing. You know, it's right? most definitely. A lot of people don't have that blessing to be able to see their parents or don't have the finance to be able to fly their parents out. So it's just a, definitely a blessing for them to be able to be in the stands and for me to be able to see them. For sure. Caught that moment in the field yesterday. That was, that was a great moment. We close every interview up the same way. You can only have one last bowl of cereal. What's the breakfast cereal one on one? Man, that's tough. That's <laughs> tough. Uh, I'll probably say cinnamon toast crunch. That's been can't go wrong. That's the one. Everybody's been going with that one. So that, that's the winner so far. <laughs> Appreciate you. I just give you one last look at that camera. Give us a go CFB Nation. Go CFB Nation, man. That's it. Let's go.